So how do you test the effect of a new appliance that has wireless? Well, first of all, you're going to need a high quality RF meter, which is going to measure a variety of different wireless frequencies, including the one that this appliance operates on and, and most consumer appliances will operate on. I'll put some more info on this particular meter down in the description, uh, but you're going to want to set it kind of in the ballpark here. We're going to turn it on and you're going to hear uh, background Wi-Fi noise. This house does currently have Wi-Fi going. That's a separate issue. This video is going to focus on the effect from this washing machine and you'll be able to clearly see the results of uh, what the washing machine is contributing once I turn it on. Okay, so the meter's on. You can hear that chatter, which is Wi-Fi. If you don't know, that's a pretty um, common sound signature for Wi-Fi. And we're somewhere uh, between 500 and 1,000 microwatts. So let's see what happens when we turn this on. Sometimes an appliance will constantly send out its own wireless signal anytime it's on. Um, sometimes you have to hit and turn on the Wi-Fi capability. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's on and we're not seeing a big change on the meter. Uh, no additional sound signature has been added. So that's good news. We can probably infer here that this machine isn't gonna constantly blast Wi-Fi. But how much does it blast out when we turn this on? Okay. So there we go. You can see about 30,000 microwatts now. So that's a big increase. And if you had a living room or an office or a bedroom close to this, that's gonna add quite a bit into that space and be a, a pretty significant hazard. Uh, we can hear this different sound signature that this particular device emits. And uh, the real question here is, now have we unleashed Pandora's box? Is this thing always gonna be pinging anytime it's on? And uh, I think the best way to test that, we'll turn it back off. You can hear that high-pitched sound signature has gone away. Uh, our peak value is back down kind of in the 500 to 1,000 range. This max value, we're going to clear that out. And so it doesn't transmit anything when it's off. That's a good sign. We need to verify that. Some appliances might do that. What happens when we turn it back on? Is it now going to emit wireless frequencies all the time? Okay, no, it's not. So that's a really good sign. And uh, now we know that for this particular washing machine, you're gonna actually have to turn this button on each time to connect it to wireless, to send out that wireless signal. And uh, now we know, and knowing is half the battle, as they say. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. I'd love it if you supported the channel by subscribing and clicking the notification button. Take care.